Hey guys, welcome back to the Smith Zero YouTube channel. Today we are uh, taking a break from the Mark II and the Mark I Rabbit VR6 Turbo car. What we're focusing on today is going to be our Rabbit pickup. This, as you guys know, I bought, it blew up, fixed it, and ever since then we've uh, kind of decided uh, it'd be nicer to have more power and more reliability. Just basically make the car more enjoyable basically what i did do was i got a good deal on a ahu uh, complete swap right here i have an ahu out of a mark three with an o2a trans on it i have a clutch and stuff but we're not going to be doing any of the clutch we're going to be um, taking this with the o2a and we're going to be getting it ready to swap into the mark one so we got a lot of parts for it and um, I'm gonna show you guys process the, or the swap process along the way. You can see I have a uh, O2A uh, adapter trans mount here. I have just a regular eight valve Mark I engine mount here that I put a new mount in. I just gotta, I'm gonna pour 15 it, make it a little bit nicer. I have a clutch, a cable clutch conversion kit because this is a hydraulic trans. I do have a full O2A or O2J shifter that will be going into the truck. I have a bunch of boxes and cables here. We'll just have to figure out which one works best for this truck. We'll get that going. But what we're trying to do here, guys, is we are trying to do this swap in one weekend. We have, you guys know we have a bunch of projects. So what this swap's gonna be is getting in just that basic uh, AHU engine into the truck. So we are not gonna be doing the big turbo stuff yet. Uh, that'll be for a project down the road. Basically what we're doing is bare minimum stuff, changing the water pump pulley, maybe the water pump, and putting it in as is. I'm not touching the clutch. Apparently the clutch was good. So I'm just gonna leave that clutch in there. All we're gonna be doing is just putting on the mounts, taking some of the accessories off, like the power steering pump and the accessory or sorry the AC pump and then we'll just we'll just do an oil change and that's basically it for the engine it's going in just like that and it should be plenty of fun in a mark one and then we'll be able to incrementally see how much nicer it is to drive or how much faster it is how much more uh, coal we can roll when we do take out the engine what we're gonna be doing is just taking it down tearing it down later uh, just saving the parts we need to go use the bigger turbo that we have off this car even though we are doing this in a weekend obviously when i make youtube videos it takes a while so expect this stuff to kind of come out throughout the weeks i will be breaking down stuff basically so the clutch cable conversion that'll be its own video doing the o2j shift tower and shift box into this mark one that'll be its own video i'm doing everything here myself if I got to cut, weld anything, I have my welders here. If I need to wire anything, add anything in, I have all the wiring stuff over here. A uh, bunch of radiator hoses. Um, I have a lot of stuff here, so we, we should be able to get this done in a weekend, no problem. I do have a whole new front end set up for the car up there, but um, we'll be doing that in yet another video. This is specifically just to get this in, get it done, Honestly, I probably want to dry, daily drive it for a little bit. Uh, got a long drive to work, so uh, why not take this? Especially with a turbo diesel, it's plenty of fun. Show you guys what I'm going to be getting into, taking out, and uh, get the car on the lift. Give you a few like little overviews so on most mark ones with this uh driver's side axle you don't have to take anything out you don't even have to have the steering wheel loose you just unbolt the nut unbolt the axle and then you take the shift selector off right here it's just 13 you just back that off and then you can just lift the axle straight up and pull it out and then kind of the same deal over on the passenger side 
you just have to take the rod out of this shift selector and move the shift selector that way, pull it up, and then uh, you can go forward like that and pull the whole axle out. It's nice and easy. I've gotten all the uh, engine mounts down here loose. So I've taken this uh, bracket off. It just unbolts like that. This uh, trans mount bracket, no, I'm gonna leave on this transmission because I do plan to sell this transmission with all the shift linkage. Take these bolts out of this front mount. It's really dark down here too, so it's kind of hard to see, but once all that's loose, now literally the only thing I gotta do is disconnect the exhaust, which I just have to get up there and unbolt uh, the nuts and then I'll bring the whole exhaust down. And I still have to uh, drain all the coolant. I've already drained the oil out of both the gearbox or trans and the um, and the engine. Pretty much everything can stay. You can see underneath here, I got most everything off. Up in the engine bay, I've already gotten all the wiring harness stuff off. Undoing the hoses from various stuff, probably remove the radiator just because it's easier. Uh, then it's just fuel filter, fuel rail, or not fuel rail, fuel lines and fuel filter. Move that off to the side. Undo the side bolts for the uh, engine transmission. And everything uh, comes out of the bottom. In Mark 1s, don't put it in from the top. You will have a horrible, horrible time. Mark 1s always go in from the bottom. Remember that. Pretty much anything that has a side uh, mount built onto the chassis, it uh, goes in from the bottom. I, I really, this is the first time I've like been under here that's not on jack stands and uh, it is a really nice chassis. It's really sooty, obviously, because it never had an exhaust for a long time. But, I mean, it's in really good shape. It does still have the pieces of wood the guy I bought it from, put pieces of wood back there. He said, um, if he didn't have the wood back there it was too low because it is on uh those bomb drop plates which you can't see but they're pretty maxed out so uh he just put them in there basically so i could drive it home at a reasonable ride height and i haven't changed it because i've been loading the car up with a bunch of stuff and i don't have wheels yet so that's why they're they're still hanging out but yeah i think it's uh pretty cool I finally see up on the lift Got the rad out, pulled the alternator out so it's a little easier. Unbolted the exhaust, now I just gotta go underneath the car and pull it off. Undid the fuel lines, just capped them and set them over there. All the wiring harness stuff, made sure it was off. No more hoses. Uh, yeah, nothing Nothing else is attached. Except the, uh, the Speedo, I gotta take that out. That's 111 mil. So I'll take that out and then we'll go up in the air, we'll pull the exhaust off clean the underneath side of the car and then we'll uh, bring the cart over and just bring it over lay it down drop it on and i got my little helper here get this out tonight it's only been about an hour so it'll be out in no time so i got the exhaust off it's back there i gotta get the 17 out of that engine mount and the 17 out of that engine mount and i'm trying to use the doll the this doohickey, crane, hoist, whatever. So I got wood under there, and then I have wood under there. If it wants to fall over, then obviously I gotta readjust, add some more wood. The truck's peeing, Dad! Yeah. Looks like you need to clean up the floor. Dad, I'm not sure that's a good idea. Uh, not really. So I tried to like just bump this and I bumped it and it just dropped all the pressure and then I was kicking the foot up and it like wouldn't stay. I pumped it a bunch of times and then it finally stayed. I really don't know how this is gonna go because there seems to be absolutely no modulation with this fucking thing.
Alright guys, uh, I don't know if this will be the end of the video, but if it is, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. We uh, got a lot done, we got the car disassembled. I just gotta pull the uh, shifter stuff out, which I'm not gonna show you guys. And then this stuff's just going into the corner. I'll put it on a little cart and that'll be the end of that for a while. And then tomorrow or tonight, whatever, whatever the video schedule is, sorry. Uh, then we'll be getting this out and we will be doing all the modifications to get it ready to bolt into the chassis. I think what we're going to do, because this car is, it's, it's an absolute mess. I think what we're going to do is put some stub axles in it. I have a couple uh, empty four lug stub, stub axles and I'll throw them in there and we will push it out and probably pressure wash it because it is, it's cruddy in here. It's, you can tell it's a diesel, all right. So we'll clean all that up. Again, if this video wasn't very good, sorry about that, but uh, I was out here doing it myself. See, I'm covered in diesel. So yeah, again, thanks for watching and uh, see you guys in the next one.